Gardeners spend hundreds on fancy fertilizers and irrigation systems, yet they're literally watching free plant superfood fall from the sky. Rainwater contains nitrogen, phosphorus and minerals that plants crave. City water actually stunts growth with chlorine and chloramine and fluoride. One rain ballot can save you 1,500 gallons of water each growing season. Did you know that capturing rain isn't just about saving money? It's a double win for your property and the planet. Every drop you collect is one less contributing to a flooding or erosion around your home. Your garden gets chemical free hydration while your basement stays dry during heavy storms. Plus you're taking a small but meaningful step towards breaking free from municipal water supplies that might restrict usage during dry spells. But this isn't just about practical benefits, there's something deeply satisfying about harvesting rain. Imagine watching your collection system fill during the downpour, knowing you're storing liquid gold for your plants. There's a quiet pride in using what nature freely provides instead of paying for treated water. Your environmental footprint shrinks while your garden thrives, all from a simple rain barrel setup. And think about it, who doesn't want more independence from monthly bills and water restrictions? But here's where things get really interesting. This simple backyard practice could actually transform an entire water infrastructure. What starts with one rain barrel can spark a neighborhood movement towards local water independence. Communities with widespread rainwater harvesting systems become more resilient during droughts and flooding events. As more people adopt these systems, we'll see innovative solutions emerge from advanced filtration to creative storage designs. We're potentially witnessing the early stages of a radical shift away from centralised water systems to something more sustainable and community controlled. Some gardeners have eliminated their water bill entirely with these simple systems. But the real question is, what would you do with all that free, chemically free water? For more, make sure to follow. I'm Tony O'Neill and this is Simplified Gardening. I will see you in the next one.